Hello everyone. My name is Samir Singh. I'm a technical marketing engineer in Cisco. In this video, we will look at some of the new and enhanced features released in the newly released Firewall Migration Tool version 4.0. The features that we'll be looking at are Firewall Device Manager to Firewall Management Center migration, migration of ECMP and PBR configurations from ASA to FTD, and any connect custom attributes and VPN load balancing migration. So let's begin with FDM to FMC migration. There are three ways in which we can migrate FDM configuration to FMC. First is we migrate only the shared configuration from FDM to FMC, which includes access policy, NAT objects. The second option is we migrate both the shared as well as the device specific configuration. And post the migration, we also have the option to migrate the device so that it becomes managed by FMC. And then there is a third option wherein we migrate the configuration from the FDM to FMC, which already has an FTD managed by it. And all the configuration will be associated with it. So on the tool, the first thing that we would do is we will log in using the provided credentials and we will select the source as Cisco Secure Firewall Device Manager. Once we do that, we get the list of the prerequisites that are required for carrying out the following conversion and then we get the option of what type of conversion we want. So if we select only shared configuration migration, then this would be the basic traffic flow that we would connect to the live FTM or upload the configuration, provide the target FMC, map the respective zones and interface groups, validate the different objects and parameters that are present and that would conclude the basic migration. The second option includes con migration of the shared configuration as well as the device specific configuration. The flow would look like getting the configuration, selecting the target FMC, mapping the interfaces, selecting the security zones interface groups, validating the changes and then pushing those configuration onto the FMC. Following this, there will be requirement of a maintenance window for moving the manager from locally managed FTD to an FTD that is managed by FMC. So that includes moving the manager, validating the changes and pushing, adding the device to FMC. Post that, we have a third option wherein we migrate the device as well as the shared configuration to an FTD which is managed by FMC. Let's take the option of shared and device configuration for this demo. We provide the credentials of the FTM to connect to. The tool will do its basic initial checking and extract the configuration from the device. The tool lists all the components that are present in the configuration such as access rules, objects, NAT, interfaces, routes, etc. Once we have this information, we proceed to provide the details of the target FMC. Once connected, the tool will list all the different components that will be migrated, including both the shared and device specific configuration. Click on proceed and start the conversion process. The tool then displays a summary of the past configuration and provides a pre-migration report. The report contains a summary of the past config, unsupported configuration, configurations that are partially migrated, ignored configuration and if there are any config lines with errors that will be present in the report. Next in this section we can see the list of interfaces that we will see on the FTD after the migration. Post that we need to create security zones and interface groups. The tool provides an option to auto create these. Next, we review and validate the shared configuration such as the access rules, intrusion policies. If there are any custom intrusion policies, then they will be created on the FMC. It also displays the snort engine version and an app policy. 
the tool displays different set of objects with access policy objects including geo objects application objects url objects and intrusion rule groups proceed with the validation process and if there are any conflicts the tool will display that and allow the option to resolve the conflict so in this case there is an object with a conflict and that is resolved by appending a certain string to it once resolved the tool displays the validation summary and we can begin with the push operation to fmc once the push is complete then we can begin with the process of moving the manager now this process will require a maintenance window as there will be a device downtime involved there should be connectivity between the ftm and fmc and it is highly recommended that a backup of the ftm configuration is taken in the move manager section we provide details of the fmc such as its host name registration key and ftd host name to which the ftd needs to be added Once done, the FMC will be listed under the Management Center section of the page, and we can proceed with the Move Manager step. This takes us to the Review and Validate section for device-specific configuration. It displays the interfaces, the routes that are configured, site-to-site -site tunnels. The tool also highlights the section where the user input is required. So in this case, the site-to-site -site VPN, the pre-shared key needs to be updated, which can be done through the tool. Once updated, we can validate the configuration, and once validation is successful, we can begin with pushing the configuration to FMC. In this way, the FTD will be registered. to the fmc the tool also provides a post migration report which provides a summary of the different features that have been migrated as if in if there are some configuration which were not migrated or any changes that were made by the tool the same can be verified on the fmc we can verify that the device indeed has been added to fmc and it has the respective access and nat policies as configured on fdm other features added as part of version 4.0 for migration from asa to ftd include migration of custom attributes and vpn load balancing configuration as part of ra vpn migration also migration of policy based routing and equal cost multipath routing configuration from asa to ftd The process begins by uploading the ASA configuration to the tool, which provides a summary of the features available in the configuration. Proceed with providing the details of the FMC. The tool will connect to the FMC and retrieve the available FTD devices that are registered to it. Select the FTD device which will be the target FTD for migration. Once selected. the tool lists all the different features that will be migrated including both shared and device specific features we proceed with the parsing process which once complete gives a summary of the configuration to be migrated details of this can be found in the pre migration report containing details of the features that will be migrated unsupported configuration partially supported configuration and other information we then map the interfaces on asa to that on ftd and then create security zones and interface groups using the auto create function of the tool we can review and validate the configuration in the following section including access control objects nat interfaces under the route tab we can verify the PBR config including the path monitoring configuration of the interfaces and policy based route for the interfaces that will be migrated 
The ECMP section shows the equal cost multipath routes configured in ASA which will be migrated onto the target FTD. Update the pre-shared key in the side-to-side -side VPN section that needs to be updated and save the changes. Under the RAVPN section, we can update the required files and data by uploading those files or selecting the ones that are already uploaded to the target FMC as part of the prerequisite process. A detailed workflow of the same is demoed in the Firewall Migration Tool 3.0 video which is uploaded to the Cisco Secure Firewall YouTube channel. What's new with this release are migration of any connect custom attributes associated with the group policies and VPN load balancing. Under the VPN load balancing section, the tool displays the VPN load balancing specific configuration to be migrated and also allows the option to update the encryption key. Once done, we begin with the validation process followed by pushing the configuration to the target FMC. The push process may take some time and upon completion, the tool provides a summary of the configs pushed. Details of the configurations mapped from ASA to FTD, configurations pushed, unsupported configurations and any changes made by the tool on the configuration can be found in the post migration report. We can verify the pushed configuration by logging into the target FMC. Once logged in, we can navigate to the remote access section and select the remote access VPN policy created. Under the advanced tab, we can verify the load balancing configuration as it was configured on ESA. And the group policies custom attributes section will show the custom attributes that are migrated from ASA to FTD. Different types are supported which include per app VPN, allow defer update and dynamic split tunneling. The custom attributes created can be found in the custom attribute option under the VPN section of the object management tab. The routes can be verified by accessing the specific FTD device and going to the routing section. ECMP tab shows the ECMP config as on ESA and the PBR tab reflects the PBR configuration containing the match criteria and forwarding action. This brings us to the end of our video and I hope it was helpful to you. Thank you.